family in northwestern Minnesota saying their loved one died after waiting two days for an ICU bed. Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Kelsey Carlson. And I'm Amy Hawker. This all comes as hospitals across the region report little to no room in their critical care units. Fox 9's Courtney Godfrey talked with that family today. And Courtney, they believe he may have lived had he been transferred sooner. Yeah, Amy, they really have no way to know for sure, but they think had he been able to see a specialist and get into surgery on day one, he would be alive today. The nurse told me he went peacefully. She held his hand and she said, it's okay to go. Through tears, Julie Lindegard recalls the phone call she received Wednesday, letting her know her 87-year-old father had passed away two days after being taken by ambulance to the small 15-bed hospital in their hometown near the Canada and North Dakota borders. They did everything they could, and they, they were trying constantly to find somewhere for him to go. Seeing that he was bleeding internally and needing a higher level of care, doctors at that small hospital in Halleck, Minnesota, attempted to transfer Bob Cameron to an ICU, but told the family not a single hospital had room. Not one ICU bed open uh, in Minnesota, even down to Mayo. Things were further complicated when a routine COVID-19 test came back positive. Cameron, who's fully vaccinated and just received his booster, then had to wait for a COVID-specific ICU bed. I mean, it's been heartbreaking because he was such an amazing human, just truly amazing. Um, and it's frustrating because... It shouldn't be this way. The Army veteran dying in the hospital, his family unable to say goodbye. Nobody should have to go through this. Nobody. About 20% of ICU patients in both North Dakota and Minnesota are COVID-19 patients, the vast majority of whom are unvaccinated. At Samford Health in Fargo, where Bob Cameron finally got a bed, there are three open beds in the ICU right now, but hospital officials say it changes by the hour. Amy? Mm, all right.